Hey you guys, time for another chit chat video. Y'all know how I do, wait till the dang on. Lights come on, looking clear and good. Excuse me while I drink some of this. Oh, that's disgusting. Y'all, to help with circulation and overall health, I've been taking black seed oil. Um, and you can see it floating on the top here. Or maybe you can't. Ooh, it tastes like motor oil. <laughs> so <coughs> it helps with everything. Oh, sorry y'all. Um, it helps with everything and can, have I been able to tell a difference? I can't say yes or no only because I take so many supplements. Like seriously, your girl, there we go y'all. I want those type of people to where if I can find a natural remedy for it, I'm going to take it. Um, I need to be taking my um, fish oil. Like seriously, that's one thing I don't take. But anyway, I'm not on a lot of medication. I take about five or six by so a day. So, okay, y'all. So, for this chit chat, my hair. Mm, I am so lazy right now. Girl, they don't even, don't even front. I've been lazy all damn year, but something about this cooler weather, I'm like, no. So, we are two and a half weeks. I am well overdue for washing because I can feel the buildup on my scalp. However, I need to maintain at least two more days. Give, give me two more days, scalp, two more days. So I know what to do with my hair. If I were, if I wasn't going to unravel, I know that I could spray my scalp with apple cider vinegar um, and I use some type of tea tree oil, massage on my scalp, pull it back and good. However, we're going out tomorrow night. Yes, he wants to take me out after after my uh, twerk session. Well, I can stop that. So, long story short, I can't do that because I need to wear my hair out. So what I'm gonna do and why I'm talking to y'all is take all of these twists down, because they're very small, still moisturized, take all of these twists down and then twist them in medium to large size sections because I'm not gonna wanna be doing this tomorrow night and my hair is blown out and yes this is still that hair from that video y'all want me to recreate <laughs> i know two and a half weeks um and i will be recreating that style because that is the style i wore for um the high school reunion and it's so funny really looking at the difference between setting that style in texas versus here when i was back home it rained the entire time so that hairstyle lasted an hour max out here look no puffiness nothing because it's not humid um so anyway y'all how y'all doing what's the tea what's going on girl there's so much foolery in these youtube streets i'm not even gonna bring it up because i talked about it in my vlog um, I think I will load up this chit chat before the vlog. So I talked about briefly some of the vloggers that are having beef. But y'all, I was watching Rhonda, excuse me, aka Miss Delightful, and she said there's some beef with some with some church folks. <laughs> I don't be following all those people. I, so I don't be knowing what's going on. You know, I used to watch Andrew Caldwell's videos, but I feel sorry for him. I mean, if that's your thing, I'm not judging you, but um, yeah. So anyway, y'all, hell, this, this is a cute hairstyle in its own. Look at this, I'll be a superwoman. I'm giving you Karen White tees. Yes. Y'all know I'm random. So, okay, so this is what we're gonna talk about, y'all. So since we're not gonna talk about what's, this in, the, what's in these YouTube streets, um, all right, so yeah, we're gonna be talking about uh, some of these new hair products coming up, um, what to expect with my channel as far as products and hair related videos. Um, you know, it's this time of the year where you're checking up on your loved ones, anxiety, we're gonna be talking about a little bit of anxiety, how I manage my anxiety. This, I'm not gonna really get into detail on that because I have a separate video that I'm gonna be sharing in my Woman to Woman series that is starting next year, actually. Um, talk about uh re-educate me when my child comes home with some foolery and yeah um so what we're gonna start 
some of these new lines I've been seeing by the hair companies. Uh, first of all, I saw that Natural 85, Whitney, she did do, I haven't seen it, but she titled the video, Is It Worth the Hype, with that $400, that $400 vacuum cleaner that people are using on their hair. Child, and I told y'all, and I mentioned this briefly in my vlog, that I'm not paying. Then they have a payment, they, they legit have a payment plan. Um, and yes, I understand that it guarantees no heat damage and it dries your hair three times faster, but I just don't see, I just don't, I don't understand why you would spend $400. That is a salon, for a salon, okay, but for an everyday person, I mean, there are some people I know who wear their hair in a stretch out state the entire time, which, <laughs> I and I know I know of another YouTuber and I like her and her name is Nezzy, I'll name drag, Natural Nezzy. She's actually one of my hair twins. We have very similar hair texture, although I think she's a little bit looser in the front. Um, she wears her hair in a stretch out state most of the time, meaning she applies heat. She wears her hair in a blown out state and then she styles her hair because she says for her that her hair is more manageable in a blown out state. And I've seen other comments from other uh, women who say the same thing, that their hair is more manageable when it's blown out. Absolutely your hair is more manageable and when it's blown out because the cuticles are laying a certain type of way I mean look at it. I'm able to flat twist do whatever I want However, it's not to say that your hair can't be managed if it's not blown out So what's the point girl? I did I said all that to say I saw a couple of comments Maybe like one or two out of all of the videos I've seen on this expensive ass blow dryer and at least one or two people admitted that they wear their hair blown out so for them there is a benefit because they do wear their hair in a blown out state all the time so they they blow out their hair every wash i would say at this point i've used a blow dryer with heat because the blow dryer i have has a cool setting so it could be heatless um I've used a blow dryer about five times and I will be doing it again for this style coming up and that's okay. Um, I think that you can get just as great results you guys with a blow dryer that's, you know, if you want to spend a little bit more money, because my dryer costs only 25 spend 75 80 bucks, you could get you a nice quality blow dryer with the same results and depending on how you use it and what type of heat protecting that you apply to your hair, you won't get heat damage, you won't. The times that I've seen people who got damaged hair is when they do multiple things to their hair. They use a blow dryer. Um, they decide that they wanna flat out on their hair. Then they decide they wanna color treat their hair. Then they do, and they're doing this in a short time span. You know what I mean? Not to say that you cannot get heat damage from one, one situation, but most of the time I've seen it when you're doing multiple things. So. so speaking of Whitney, I see that her and her sister have came out with a hair care line, which I am so excited for her. Um, I believe that it includes two products right now. So it is a uh, soft rollout, I guess is what y'all want to say. Look out here, these lights are looking crazy. Hold on y'all, there we go. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I will say I am willing to break my no product reviews streak to review her products. And I, I think I will. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get on the waiting list. I think that she started the wait list, it's been now two weeks, but they actually won't even start mailing out until January. Um, so yes, I, I think I will want to review her products. You know, support a sister. Um, Y'all know that Camille Rose, <coughs> Camille Rose has a collection. I think it's like a world collection that came out and it includes a cholesterol. Y'all, I love me some cholesterols. I, I, I've i already gone through, you remember all of those cholesterols that um, Hollywood Beauty sent me? They're all gone. It didn't take me no time. I still have my Queen Helen, um, but yeah, I give it, 
uh, two or three more months and I'll need to restock on everything, which is what, that was my whole goal was to buy a lot. So yes, uh, we knew that Camille Rose was coming out with, I believe it's like three separate collections. No, I don't know, three lines of the world collection, if that makes sense. Um, and then earlier this week, I saw that a lot of body, we like to put a lot of body has a, what is it called y'all? A honey, a honey collection line. And it includes a mousse. I'm like, y'all, I was looking at that picture like an addict. I'm gonna, I would rather break my, uh, whatever the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Put it like this, if I'm going to start reviewing a product, I would do Whitney's over the lot of body, um, just because I want to support her. So yeah, I'm looking at it, it's great. That doesn't mean I won't buy it and use it, and just tell y'all about it, but to do a, an official video, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, I'm just not. Now if they want to send it to me, then maybe, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, y'all, you know, one thing I will say, there are so many lines, and y'all know before I stopped reviewing products, there were a lot more um, recommendations I received from you guys on black-owned natural hair care lines that I could review. There are so many. But this is the thing that I really do wish that a lot of companies would consider. like. I see all these collections. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very uh, particular about smells and scents. Uh, sometimes, I, depending on my allergies in the season, I can be very sensitive to it. So I just wish that they would do a no scent collection or a no scent line. Um, it's great that it smells great, you know, honey and what was that, Camille, not Camille, uh, M Miel had the pomegranate in it. That's great and all, and I do understand that dep depending on the type of ingredients that go into a product will change the scent, but not everything has to have a smell to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I would prefer to just have a plain old product with no sense. Just I just as long as it works for my hair, I don't care how it smells. I don't want to. I don't. No sense, okay? No smell at all. Um, also, I know that there are some uh, companies that do what I'm going to suggest: um, lock pack packages, L L O C, uh, protein sensitive packages. You know, so you can buy three products. And you're done. You don't have to search, go searching for whatever you need. Or porosity, high porosity, low porosity. I know Shea Moisture did that, but I saw mixed reviews on those, you know, those products itself. Um, or do about a wash day. Protein sensitive. If you're sensitive to protein, okay. Here are five products or four or five products you can use for your wash day for protein sensitive people. If you need protein, okay. Here is a protein base um, wash day. Here's a normal. Here's you know what I mean. I mean I just wish that someone could create some. I know somebody. Well, why don't you? No, no. Look, I tried to sell a little hair oil, and I was very successful with um with what I'm trying to say with salons, but most people will would did not want to spend money. All right, y'all. So anyway, what else is going on? I think I got them all out, almost all out. So yeah, know it's the time of the year. It's the holiday season. It's the most wonderful time of the year, y'all. I love this this um this time of the year, and I need to catch up on my Hallmark Christmas movies. You know, people uh, uh, trapped in a snow globe or something. I need to catch up on that. And, um, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see what. So, anyway, yeah, it's that time of the year. And, honestly, around this time of the year, I get a little bit of an anxiety. Not even a little bit. I get some anxiety. And I have to be very mindful of not doing too much, um, and just being aware of the warning signs when I'm feeling anxious. So, uh, got over some anxiety this past two weeks, which really was triggered by me being sick and things got snowballed. And um, one of the medications, actually a couple of the medications aided in the anxiety, which is crazy. Singular, singular. <laughs> so, um, I also use this time of the year to check up on my friends, which I encourage y'all to do too. And you've heard me preach this before. You know, there's a lot of people who don't have friends or family 
close by I'm one of them but I have some friends here in the valley I'm not gonna say that but my best friend is back in Texas my really close friends are back home in Texas needless to say I took this time earlier this week to you know follow up with a couple of my friends to see how they're doing just to do a temperature check and I encourage you to do that you know um, yourself um, hold on I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting everything out and I, I'm not. So yeah, y'all, check up on your friends and family to see how they're doing. One of the things that I did right after I got over this anxiety spell, um, and it's not to brush it off, because there are some people I know, and maybe you're one of them, who suffer from anxiety on a weekly basis. Thank God I'm not like that. For me, it definitely is seasonal, because I was like this last year, and then what happens is I get sick. You know, I could already feel the anxiety building up. And then, I'm not taking care of myself and then I get sick and then that brings on more anxiety for like two weeks. I'm okay now, I'm in a better space now. Um, but one of the things I did earlier this week, I recorded a personal um, message to myself and it was an idea I got from Alexis. She's in her trench coat. She is a fellow YouTuber. She does videos on productivity, goal setting, and she's lately been doing a lot of things on manifesting your goals. And so I saw her, one of her latest videos where she's sitting in bed and she's listening to herself repeating all these positive affirmations. And I was like, you know what, Alexis? I'm gonna do that. I said, this is great and all. But I want something that is personal for me. I could put in some scriptures in there. I could, I could talk about JB and my husband. And I did. I wrote an entire script out. I recorded it yesterday. I uploaded it as private because it's for me personally. And I listened, I listened to it. It's only eight minutes long. I listened to it twice this morning. And it really sets you. You know what? <clears throat> the first hour of your day can really make or break your mood for the remainder of the day and that's how I feel so I really try to start my day off as positive as possible I block everything out um words are powerful y'all we and we know this they are so powerful someone shared on Facebook uh that a high school and I, I we did this before when I was in college a high school did an experiment where they had two plants one plant they encouraged the kids to bully say all types of things too. Whereas the other plant, they said, you know, positive things, great things. The plant that was bullied died within a week. And we did this as, a, um, as an experiment when I was working on my undergrad in biology. And sure enough, the plant that was getting all the negative words was dying. I mean, it was fading away in a few days. It's amazing. Yeah, powerful, powerful. Even when it comes to water, um, I think when a uh, church I used to go to, they were providing water with positive words on the outside. And there had been a research that shows that looking at the water with positive words listed on the outside, the molecular structure appears different. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely. There is power in the tongue. I absolutely do believe in that. So anyway, y'all, enough about that. Um, girl, JB came home the other day, re-educating girl. And I, I know, I knew that going into, even though it's a charter school and it's a great school, <clears throat> and I'm very hands-on with JB, not as much as, and I'm very hands-on with JB, not as much as I would have hoped to be, um, but I volunteer at his school. We do some supplemental learning at home. Those of you who don't know, I was originally going to home, was going to homeschool JB, but girl, I, I'm like, I, I can't deal with your ass. So he goes to a local charter school. It's right down the street. It's a great school. Um, but I do incorporate a lot of things at home. And one of the things that I do is when he brings things home and I'm, I'm like, oh, this is not right. Re-education. So earlier this week, he brought this home. Um, what is this? He said, oh, it's a teepee, mama. I said, oh, a teepee. So is this for Thanksgiving? So he goes on and on about how, yeah, you know, you know, the Indians lived in teepees. I said, mm-hmm. I said, okay, JB, sit down. <laughs> so I let him know that, and a lot of people don't know this, but you would think that at a school, they would have cut this type of stereotypical foolery out, right? I said, well, baby, um, 
natives or indigenous people uh most of them did not live in teepees and though few the few who did it was mostly used when they were traveling just to let you know jb um a lot of indigenous people do not celebrate thanksgiving so he was like okay mama i know this <laughs> but i'm going to keep sharing things with him and we're going to watch some videos together over the weekend and next week definitely but then girl the next day he came home with this you see this so i'm looking at it right and i said I didn't even say anything. This is this was the look on my face. So JB sees me. He starts giggling. I said, "What the hell is this?" He said, hey, "It's an Indian woman." I said, "Oh, okay." So I said, "This is nice." I said, "Oh, so at least she's brown." You know, he colored her brown. He said, "Oh yeah, Mama, I colored her brown. Everyone else had a different color, so I made sure she was brown." <laughs> I said, "High five. We got that." But you know what? Unfortunately. Here in the U.S., um, a lot of us do not get, and it's not every school and it's not every teacher. I want to, I want to just say that there are some great, you know, educators out there, but unfortunately, they do not give us accurate history. There are so many things that I learned in college and afterwards, as it pertains to American history, that. I'm like, are you serious? So I don't want that for JB. Whenever he comes home with something, I want to, I want to be able to shed some more light on the truth. And eventually, he's going to find his own truth too. Like, let's just say that. I'm not, I'm not going to be that type of person that this is how it is. You know, one way or the other. You know, he's going to find his own truth, and I, I'm going to encourage him to be that way. But yeah, I've, I've seen so many different stories of what was that a couple of years ago where someone said that they referred to American black slaves as um, workers. Almost like our ancestors came here, got paid, and we had all this free will. Can you remind me what that was? I know some of you know what I'm talking about, but it, this book, this curriculum basically presented American black slaves as just regular workers almost like what do they call them um indigenous workers i know that the uh irish were like that up up north where paid paid servants or something girl we weren't no who were slaves even after slavery there were people who were still slaves oh my god so yeah why didn't y'all tell me i forgot to tell y'all what to be expecting on my channel look i started re-watching re-watching some of the film and I forgot to tell y'all. All right, girls. So I will be loading this up either today or tomorrow morning. <clears throat> so expect that I will be doing that last DIY video, which will be a coconut milk and avocado cream. I got my coke, my um, excuse me, my avocado. And um, next month I will be doing an updated wash day routine to let you guys know what I've been doing to wash my hair. That would be very extensive. Um, but next next year definitely the woman to woman series but as far as hair related just because i'm not reviewing new products does that mean i won't be doing comparison videos yes so a couple of years ago those of you who don't know and i think i got a lot of my subscribers from this um i had an idea to be comparing shampoos leave-ins mostly shampoos and um conditioners so i had an entire series on reviewing and i would split my hair down the middle middle and review products like that so i'm going to be doing that with cholesterols we're going to be do using um queen helen versus hollywood beauty that's just an example and also with uh stylers so example cream of nature versus the lot of body styler as far as the mousse goes um and it will mostly be store-bought or things you can get at your sally's at your local local target because again not everyone has the coins or means to purchase products online so perhaps we may um do a comparison of leave-in spray I will be doing mud wash. I will be doing, um, I have betonite, betonite clay back there, but instead I will be purchasing, was it Razul? Is that how you pronounce it? I'll be doing a mud wash on that. So yeah, y'all be looking for that. A lot of DIY, cause I mean, y'all know I love my DIY. Um, and I will be purchasing a hair steamer and doing an official review on that. So yes, 
hair related videos for next year are going to be awesome. If you have any ideas on um, comparison videos that you want me to do, I will say at this point, it will need to be something I've already done before, um, in which I've tried a lot of products. Um, even, even if it's something like the ORS mask versus, um, who has a mask that's out? Suave. Oh yes, the ORS, y'all know what I'm talking about, that pack versus the other one, protein packs comparison. Cause I've tried all that, but what does it look like compared to one another? Well, I like to gather you guys' feedback. And that is it, I know I'm looking crazy. That is it, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.